We are coming to you live from Steeltown, Pennsylvania at the sold-out Three Mile Island Stadium. There's nothing quite like playing in the scenic toxic nuclear waste dump. Yeah, this is going to be a bloody game. The teams are loading their weapons and sharpening their spikes. The Leland Burns take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hope you got your mutant tailgate buzz on. I know I did. The teams are revving up on the sidelines, and we are ready for some mutant football. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Yeah, Grim, I had a little eye open at myself at the mutant bloodmobile park next to the taco truck outside. Called the lobotomy shot. Raccoon rabies blood and red bull crap. Hoo-hoo. Yeah, I can tell your mouth looks like a hot shaving cream dispenser. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. That's a gain of 10 yards. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Look at this guy's running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. And it's first and 10. The brutal hit. Second down and nine. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Six yard gain there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. Third and two. see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and it's first and ten hot hot one hot two hot hot three. the defense better look out the offense called the beast boost dirty trick Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. Oh, and the defender cut off that pass like a suburban mom on the way to speak to the manager. And he sure got his refund. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run! Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double step burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's 
First and ten. They'll be five, five, five. I am finishing them. Oh, he took a leap and had the ball knocked out. Fumble. He got a case. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. First and ten. Second down in a very lot. Bam! Say good night to that guy, Bricks. Uh, good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and a lot. Six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Third down and, well, good luck. The lineman swats the ball away with those meaty paws. What? It looks so snuggly. Well, I guess if you're a monster. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt the damn ball and play defense. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. And he's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. And that play went nowhere fast. No game. Second down and ten. He's not just burning down the house, he's taking it to the house. Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot two. Starting to go somewhere, but he gets stopped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all you can eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think. Third down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object.
And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. for the extra point. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. and says, who's next? And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Graham. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. and four. I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. And that'll bring up second and one. It's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, man, I love it. He just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Briggs. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. It's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. And a hard run. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. 
When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. First and ten. He's toast. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, with the punishing hit. First and ten. How did he screw that up? No one died. Bombs don't kill mutants, Grim. Newtons kill mutants. Second down and ten. The ginormous guy is compensating for something. But I... Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He takes a lick and it keeps on ticking. <laughs> <laughs> and out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, what the brutal hit! Oh, 
first and ten. force meets the explodable object. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they knock you out. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! And it's first and ten. done for a first down. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Two minutes remain in the half. Wait, I gotta take a dump again. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and the offense has only two running backs left and the defense is licking their lips uh, i think they want to eat those last two runners for this afternoon. first down and long and they've had enough the offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref First down and forever. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. Second down and long. Simple game when it comes down to it. And the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. That's a nice catch for five yards. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. <laughs> the offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae 
Andre just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Where? Sure, now he catches it. I had to... Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore win. Well, this kick is no guarantee. Sure it is. If he misses, he's fired. Guaranteed. team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. Boom, and he's dead. Sandwiches. I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. Oh, and the ball falls to the ground. That's incomplete. He needs to throw it when a receiver can catch it. What's he doing? And uh, groundbreaking analysis as always there, Bricks. Oh, thank you. I do my part. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. First and ten. When the defense calls thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example song. Watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. And it's first and ten. That ball was almost intercepted.
second down and ten. Hey, guys, so I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Third down and ten. And it's first and ten. Defensive player got blown to bits. <laughs> the Blitzburg Steelheads decimate the opposition today and win by forfeit. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know wounds taste just like chicken. I was it scrambles tomato soup. Wounds. Mm -hmm, good. The MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Yeah, right. Putting three words together for this guy is like you doing a Rubik's Cube. What's a Rubik's Cube? Moving on. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.